All roads and all seas lead to the eastern seaboard of Australia, to the state of Queensland, where on the Gold Coast, where the sun shines 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. It's a beautiful place where there are pristine beaches. We've got surfers paradise here. And the fun factor is every day, whether you're in the water or out of it. The Gold Coast is the place to be, and that's where we are, because 27 participating countries are taking part in the Total BWF Sudermann Cup World Team Mixed Team Championships for 2017, and we're here at the wonderful Gold Coast Sports and Leisure Center, which is a brand new sports facility. It'll be ready for the uh, Commonwealth Games next year, but right now, these pristine conditions for the sort of Well, Group 1, there are 12 countries, the top 12 countries in the world. The defending champions are China. Group 2, we have eight countries. And Group 3, seven, those countries are looking to improve their status in the world of badminton rankings. But it's the top group, Group 1, where we'll be looking at to see who will eventually lift the Suderman Cup. Well, the first four days, it uh, involves matches within the groups where all countries play against each other. Then we head towards day five, the group one quarterfinals, and then the group two placings. We go on to quarterfinals on day six in group one, the semifinals for group one on day seven, and then the final for group one to see who will win the Suderman Cup next Sunday. Group one, we have four subgroups. Group A is China. Thailand, Hong Kong, China looking supreme in the defense of their title. Korea, Chinese Taipei, and Russia in Group B. Group C, and that's our group today. Japan, Malaysia, and Germany. And we have uh, Denmark, Indonesia, and India in subgroup, in Group D there, in Group 1. Today, it's Malaysia against Germany. That'll be starting very shortly. And then this evening, our evening session will be Indonesia against India. And that promises to be a really good clash between two countries where badminton is in their DNA. Sudaman was the name of the uh, man who devised this tournament. A whole host of talent on display today. We've got the world number one, Lee Chongwei, at 34 years of age there. For Malaysia, we got the world silver, the Olympic silver medalist in the men's doubles in Tan Wee Kiong and Go Vi Shem. 17-year-old Go Jin Wei, so much is expected of her, a world junior champion. So many medalists and so many good players in that Malaysian side. And for the uh, Germans, Lamsfuss and Hertrich are the mixed double specialists. Fabian Deprez will play, he's the, the left-hander, will play women's singles. Fabian Roth is just 21 years of age, and he's got a, a mighty task on his hands today because he's facing the world number one. But uh, youth and experience for Germany. So we're going to start with the mixed doubles. It's... Uh, Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing against Mark Lampsfuss and Isabel Hertrich. And then it's the men's singles, Li Chong Wei, three times Olympic silver medalist against Fabian Roth, who's just 21 years of age. He's a, a European junior champion. Then the men's doubles, the Olympic silver medalists, Go Vi Shem and Tan Wei Kim against Janssen and Zervone. That is the men's doubles, followed by the women's singles, Go Jin Wei, she's just 17 years of age, former world junior champion against Fabienne de Prez. And our last match in this tie is uh, Vivian Hu with Wung Ke Wei. They won Commonwealth Games gold in 2014 in Glasgow against Johanna Golzewski, Isabel Hertrich. So we're all set for an enthralling clash here. A 
alongside me as we watch the teams uh, making their way out on court. The former head coach to the Denmark national team, uh, Steen Pedersen. Morning, Steen. It's uh, well, it's wonderful to see the world number one and so many talented players from Malaysia. Germany have got a big task today. Yeah, they've uh, definitely uh, the underdogs in this tie, uh, but uh, we know Germany, they always fight hard. They have a young uh, team here in, um, in Gold Coast and uh, they are to do as good as absolutely possible. To start with the mixed yeah, doubles. Now we have toss. Uh, we have two side uh, red and black. So the red one. Side. Yes, side. Red. So it's so it's two side. 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 So all the formalities conducted by Mai Lang Yen from uh, Vietnam. He is our umpire. For this match and uh, our service judge comes from Canada, Eric Deroche. Well, it's a mixed doubles to start. Tan Kian Meng with Lai Pei Jing for Malaysia. This is Tan Kian Meng, 22 years of age, with a ranking of 11. He was up at 9, that was with Lai Pei Jing. He's from Johor Bru, which is just across the straits from Singapore. Very tall. Should be quite a threat at the back of the court. Lai Pei Jing, 24 years of age, from Kuantan, Malaysia. And, uh, these two are a three-time winner of a Grand Prix gold event, including the Malaysia Masters earlier this year. Now for Germany, Mark Lamsfuss is 23 years of age. Again, he's a, one of the taller players around on the circuit with a ranking of 33. It's a mixed doubles ranking of 33. And uh, his playing partner is Isabel Hertrich, 25 years of age. Ranking 33. The highest ranking was 21 with uh, Peter Kesbar. He's uh, in this squad, but he's not playing today. These two won the 2017 Orléans International on the Challenge Series in France this year. Well, Germany, this is uh, their result. They've already played and beat Kazuno and uh, Kurihara of Japan. So our umpire comes from Vietnam, Mai Leng Yen from Vietnam. He's in the chair, the umpire's chair for this one, and sitting on court side in the service judge chair is Eric Deroche of Canon. All set and Quite honestly, you look at uh, the rankings, we say a lot about what happens on paper. It's not played on paper, of course, but you've got the number 11 ranked team from Malaysia and the number 33 ranked team from Germany. Yeah, so on paper, the Malaysians, uh, the favourites, and um, nothing much to say about that. The only thing is that this Malaysian pair probably didn't expect to play today, but they've had time to uh, sort of uh, adapt to the thought that they are leading their team on here because of the injury to uh, um, Olympic silver medalist uh, Go Liu Ying. Just received news today that Go Liu Ying has undergone shoulder surgery in, in Germany, actually in Halle. Ladies and she'll be out for four to six months due to that um, Malaysia, presenting uh, rehabilitation. By Tan Chen Meng, Lai Pei Ching. Strong Malaysian contingent and in the crowd. Left, Germany, presented by Mark Lampers and Isabel Patrick. 
Malaysia to serve. Live baiting to Mark Long first. Level. Mixed Play. doubles to start. Live paging with serve. He's a big man, Tan Kian Meng. We've got two big male players here, but Tan Kian Meng stands even taller than his German counterpart. Yeah, and he's, um, he's converted men's singles player. Um, he used to play men's singles until two years ago or something like that. But, uh, very successful conversion so far when you're number 11 in the world ranking. It's a good chance to make the right choice. It's actually interesting that you see um, some men's singles players convert to mixed doubles. You would expect it would be men's doubles players who also played mixed doubles, and of course there's a majority of those, but actually the skills in uh, men's singles are very useful in mixed doubles as well. The ability to cover the whole court, the ability to score points and be dangerous is uh, two key ingredients for a male mixed doubles player. Three love, three quick points for the Malaysian team. And one of the interesting things um, with the Malaysian uh, lineup was that uh, they actually had a possibility of, of fielding uh, Go Liu Ying's uh, partner from the Olympic um, campaign, Chan Ping Soon, because uh, when Go Liu Ying had uh, to undergo knee surgery, Lai Peking here in the picture, she played with Chan Ping Soon for uh, a number of months whilst uh, Go Liu Ying was recovering. And, um, Played some very good tournaments, but they opted to go for the normal pair, so to speak. And uh, I think that is um, a good choice. So, bearing in mind that Chen Ping Sun is sometimes struggling quite a bit with his services. Big smash, but it's wide from uh, Mark Lumsfus. Well, our Malaysian pairing here, three-time winner of a Grand Prix gold events, and uh, earlier this year they won the Malaysia Masters. So they're pretty well uh, in harness, come here with some form. Six, one. Well, they've raced to a 6-1 lead, the Malaysians, in this opening mixed doubles match. The Malaysians, they, they are a team on a mission because uh, they have a, a spot to wash off, uh, no doubt about that. They lost to Germany in 2013 to Diamond Cup in the group stage, and that meant that they uh, failed to qualify for the knockout stage, and that was really, really hurtful for the Malaysian team and, and Malaysia uh, as a nation because it was played in Kuala Lumpur, the uh, 2013 edition of the Sudirman wow. Cup. Big smash coming up here from Tan Kian Ming, straight back at his uh, opponent, Lamsfus. 7-1. German radar not quite finely tuned. A number of uh, just overcut long, which Tan Kian Meng has just watched dropper out of court. It's a good start for the Malaysians. They haven't really broken a sweat yet, and it's 8 1. Is wide. Service all. Two, eight. Lamsfus and Hertrich, the only uh, 
repeat selection on the German team from uh, the first match against Japan. Lost that match 4-1. So it's not like they haven't played in the uh, arena or anything. Three, Jing just finding the net and so to Tan Kin Ming. Yeah. I actually think that the uh, lift from Mark Lamsus was a bit shorter than he expected and that sort of uh, tricked him a little bit. Point of impact much further ahead of the body than he suspected. So from 8-1 to 8-6, Germany fighting back. Seven, eight. A lot of emphasis on the service situation and trying to get the attack. Not a whole lot of uh, long rallies. Lamsfuss was uh, in a fairly awkward position there. He got the ball back, but couldn't really direct it with uh, the intent he wanted. Watch here. Sets it up for yeah, Tan. Killer played by uh, Tan Kin Meng. So important to use the whole court. Play some lifts or long flat drives in order to uh, keep the opponents away from overcovering the front court area. So that 8-1 lead has been gradually eroded to 10-8. So seven point uh, gap there was, it's now just two. Oh, it's on the line, is it? It's it. It's inside. Yeah, clearly inside. Inside. And that's a difficult. Uh, or, or the, uh, the thing you have to be aware of getting an eight-one lead that you cannot afford to fall asleep. And I'm suspecting that that's what happened for the Malaysian pair here. Yeah, coming up towards the interval, and it's ten-nine, nine-ten with. Patrick serving. Well, it came forward with great intent, and at the interval, it is the Malaysian pair who lead 11-9. Coaches 
Here in the Pinda Father, Tamil German top player. Part of the team who uh, beat Malaysia on uh, home soil in 13. Timo Duna, the second coach. Recently reshuffled their coaching and uh, center set up in Germany. Operates with uh, two national centers, one in uh, the Ruhr area in Wuhan, and one in Saarbrücken. And uh, they had previously the girls in, in uh, Mulheim and uh, the boys in Saarbrücken, but uh, now they've changed it so they have a single center and a double center. Challenge. Shuffle was called out. Sorry, correction. Call called in, and he thinks it was out. You know, the umpire corrected himself. So we're going to have a look what Hawkeye tells us here. Tan Kien Men has made the challenge and oh goodness me that's hawkeye and hawkeye tan yeah he was in a good position and didn't seem like one of these emotional challenges but it's always difficult even for the players to see if the shuttle just touches the line by a few millimeters to kind of be completely sure this is called wide. Well, that's an error from Mark Lamsfuss because he's in a good position to make the winner here. Yeah, and had I been uh, the German pair, I might have uh, chosen to look that up with a um, challenge yeah. just, to, just to be sure. I mean, it's 13-9 and you could really use the point and you have two challenges in the first game and get two new ones in the second. Oh, that's good deception from Tan Kin Meng. He has been smashing that shuttlecock, but then it was just a little faint. He just took all the pace off it here. Shapes up for the big smash and just slice it, comes across the face of the racket. Understanding, in my opinion, there. I don't think Lai Peijing was supposed to go for that shot on the backboard. This one here. Yeah, but perhaps he broke the string. I didn't notice it, but he changed his racket immediately after, so that might be why she was uh, moving backwards to Malaysia. Woman. 14 10 the score. Tan Kin Meng now receiving. Good interception by uh, Isabel Hattrich. 11 14. Once again, just uh, the two rackets clashing on the Malaysian side. Oh, good attack by Lamsfus. Comes down from uh, the steep angle of that smash there. And at great knots too, 3.53 k's an hour. Again, he's just mixed it up now, hasn't he? Just the change of pace. Tan Kien Min. Yeah. Here's one, and here's another. It's almost at 60%. He picks up on that. Um, Patrick actually sneaks to the net, and the Germans try to get into a front court, back court 
position instead of the defense position and perfectly uh, exploits it, Tang Hien Ming. One of his goals is to uh, be an Olympian in 2020 in Tokyo. Definitely doable, but um, Malaysia, they have two strong mix pairings when uh, Goli Ying returns from her shoulder injury. Strong from uh, Tan Kien Ming. Service over. 13 16. 13 16 with uh, Isabel Petrich. Would serve here for Germany in this opening mixed doubles match. Good action. 14 16. Perhaps the area where he sometimes struggles a little bit, um, Tan Kien Meng, when he's to make um, mixed doubles shots from the front court area around the tape level, a little below the tape level. That's that's not so easy to uh, get adapted to as a former singles player. It takes some time. We've seen it with uh, Joachim Fischer from uh, Danish team. Also a converted mixed double uh, men's singles player. Very strong backcourt area, but front court. It's not as easy. Oh, hits the net with the smash. It's a little bit of a nervous looking shot, that one, in my opinion. Fifteen seventeen. Service all. Eighteen. Uh, getting the point on the wide alley there. So Eighteen fifteen now. Good rally. We haven't had many long rallies in this match at all. And once again, it was uh, Tan King Men taking the pace of it here from the back, winding up to what looks like it being a monster smash, and it's not. Yeah. He's using that deception, isn't he? Yeah, and, and uh, Hattrick trying to be creative from a little bit too uh, far below the tape. When you want to be creative in the defense, it's uh, advisable to do it when you've somehow guessed correctly where the opponent's shot is going to come. If you not really anticipated what's going to happen, then just play the safer shot. That's well wide. From the Lamps first backhand. Game point so, 16. four game points here for the Malaysian pairing. And King Meng with the serve. Serves of 17 20. Oh, 
I would challenge that. Now, this is going to be a challenge. Malaysians have challenged. The line judge at the far side calling it wide, and Tan King Ming immediately looked at his partner, Lai Pei Jing, and said, let's challenge for this, because yeah. if they win the challenge, they win the game. Oh, it's caught the line. So the first game going to the Malaysian pairing, 21-17. coaching now, so Chin Yu Hui is now uh, offering advice to Lai Pei Jing and, and Jeremy Gan to uh, Tan Kian Meng. It requires a very, very good communication between the two coaches, in my opinion, and of course these two uh, Malaysian coaches, they've worked together for quite some time now, so uh, not so much of a problem for them to adapt. First game, we saw the Malaysians race to an 8 1 lead, and then what was it, Steen Brazil? Did they just take their foot off the pedal? What was it? Yeah, I think perhaps a little bit nervousness, and uh, I don't know if the shuttle, to me, the shuttle looks a little bit faster today than, than the two previous days. I don't know if that's the case, but uh, we've seen some lifts in the beginning of the um, first game that were, went long. Um, the first two days, they've seem to be quite heavy uh, slow the shovels uh, I think the Malaysians perhaps underestimated a little bit the, the Germans but uh, managed to weather the storm and I, I think it's given them confidence winning this first game here they can't take their foot off the pedal though because the Germans they, they're going to go all out even here in, in the second game but I, I think it should bring some confidence to the Malaysian team second game it's going to be Lai Pei Jing to serve. Mark Lemsfuss for the June pair. Early, but it's a good start for the Germans. Just a couple of points to begin this second game. Great play by Lai Pijing. Excellent net game. Yeah, good smash from uh, Lamsfus. Yeah, and set up by Hattrick from uh, the back court, and of course she's the only one doing double duty in this uh, team tie. None of the other German players are playing two uh, categories and none of the Malaysians are playing two categories. Oi, that's a little bit off that shot there. She didn't look at all comfortable, did she? Almost as if she quit on the shot. Just hooked it wide. 2 3, second game. Oh, well, 
play by the Germans. It's going towards the coaches, live pitching, and I don't think the umpire is going to allow that. I can understand that she's a little uh, unhappy there because I felt that uh, Tang Kian Ming should have done a better job early in the rally of following up on the front court. Do you see a change of tactic here by the Germans from the, the first game, uh, Stim? Uh, no, not really. Uh, according to the Germans, things are actually going quite well if you uh, withdraw the 8-1 deficit they suffered Absolutely. in the beginning. Absolutely. And they're, they're playing uh, very much conceptual mixed doubles. They try to avoid lifting, which is a very good idea because of the powerful smash of uh, Tank and Meng. So they try to keep the shot low. Um, Play flat shots and uh, and stop blocks, soft touch shots, and uh, that's the best way to protect the female player. So um, no surprise in that. To, to many, it can be a surprise how disciplined uh, the Germans often are. And I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise that the no. Germans are disciplined. No. That's what you should expect. That's what you get from German sports generally, isn't it? Yeah, discipline, yeah. good discipline. So four all in this second game. The uh, Malaysians took the first game 21-17. Just the variation we're seeing here from Pan King Wang. He's really thinking about how he's delivering those smashes from the back of the court. The first one, no pace. The second one, just about everything going into it. Yeah, and, and sort of uh, gets the German pair out of position because they have to move towards the net to return the block shot. So, got to do a better job of getting back ready in the defense position. Perhaps moving Tank and Ming a little bit, but it's not easy because there's so good deceptions on his drop shots. So, it looks like he's smashing. That's the same, Glumsfuss. Well played, good follow-up here. Interception by Hattrick, and then we see Mark Glumsfuss following up and covering the other side of the net. And that was what uh, I was asking for uh, Tank and Ming to do a couple of rallies ago. Here it is, good interception. And good follow-up. Yes, you, you had spotted that, the uh, Malaysian players. Initially, it was uh, Lai Pijin going towards the coaches, and the umpire said, come on, let's yeah. get, you can't go there. They're a little bit uncertain, it seems. And... It should come as no surprise. I would have expected them to discuss this in the interval, the Malaysian coaches, that the German plan is to play downwards whenever it's possible. And if it's only a little bit impossible, still do it. If it's totally impossible, then lift. <laughs> it's the formula that uh, belongs to Steen Pedersen. Six all. Six all. Coverage again by uh, Mark Lamsfuss. Then he makes the error. Patrick. Service of seven, six.
by Isabel Hertrich. And here we see that she was ready. This time, the smash came on the first Seven possibility four. from Tang Tian Meng. Seven and Hertrich was perfectly capable of uh, returning it. Look at the Malaysians, they look at each other. Who's doing what? There's, there's clear confusion on the Malaysian side right now. A lot of noise inside this Gold Coast Sports and Leisure Centre today because the uh, in Group 2A, along this course alongside, it's Vietnam against Canada. <laughs> the whole busloads of Vietnamese supporters, young children. But the concentration is very much on this court number one, where the score is seven all in the second game. Well played. Good variation from Michael Armstrong. Slices that shot a little bit. It's not a full power Eight, smash. Seven. Just dips and dies, doesn't it? Yeah. Look, both Good of place. them. Both Malaysians looking at each other. And when when Malaysia lost in 2013 on home soil, they actually lost the mixed doubles. That was the now. Olympic silver medalist Champion Soon and Go Liu Ying, who lost in, in three games to uh, uh, Birgit Michels and uh, Michael Fuchs, who recently retired from the German team. So the Germans are in a transition state from um, old experienced players that has um, uh, retired now, and, and Mark Zwiebler, who we're not going to see today. He played against Japan, but he's playing his last Sudirman Cup. He's going to retire after the World Championships in, in August. So. A lot of young, hungry uh, German players on their way up. Perhaps not as, as skilled and as experienced yet as their um, seniors, but but the, uh, the eagerness to play and, and represent their country, that's, that's making up for a great deal in my opinion. Nothing in it. Nine all in this second game. Neither team able to pull away from the other. But uh, the Germans look a little bit more cohesive, a little bit more confident in this second game. Yeah, in, in, my, in my opinion, they are the ones setting the tone for um, for the rallies in this um, second game here. Um, mistakes creep in, but but. It's played on their uh, conditions, so to speak. Where we see the Malaysians, they are reacting to what the Germans are doing. And they, they're still doing very well there in the lead, so nothing bad is, has happened yet. They've got to be careful. That's a little bit too soft, in my opinion. Yes. I'd like to see him go a little bit more all out in the attack there, Michael Armstrong. So at the interval, it is the Malaysians who are just ahead by 11 points to nine in this second game. Situation where, where you are actually reasonably satisfied if, if things can go according to the way you wanted the rest of this second game. The Malaysians have played a good match, so, so you've got to be careful. Because if you emphasize too much on what you could do better, and, and I could find a couple of spots where the Malaysians could do better, then you might take away the self confidence, and you definitely don't want to do that. So this group 1C tie between Malaysia and 11, Germany, beginning with a mixed doubles match here. 
Malaysians took the first game 21-17, and it's going to be Lai Pei Jing at 11-9 with serve. Second game. It's in. Good reaction by a tank. 12-9. So important that he can control that and play a soft shot. A lot of players would just try to get it as far away as possible. Finds the net. Uh, good defensive work from uh, Lai Pei Jing here. 13, 10. from uh, Tang Kin Ming, but I don't think he's Tan right Ken this Ming. time. Challenges for in. So the shuttle's called in here, and uh, Tang Kin Ming believes it was out. His challenge, challenge is incorrect. One challenge remaining. Yeah, that was important for uh, Lamsfuss and Hattrick. Service of 11 13. Prevent the Malaysians from running away Play. here after the interval. And just two points in it 11 13. Played a very good match by Beijing. Oh. On the tennis curse. Yeah, but it was a great service return from uh, from Hattrick. Service of 12, and 14. The thing is, it's so easy to just lift it for Lai Beijing. She tried to be. Uh, constructive and creative and play back at the net then of course that's a little bit more difficult good rotation excellent play there he starts the backcourt and then moves to the net he takes, takes it so early doesn't she great anticipation from Lai Pei Jing. Jing, just 24 years of age. Of it actually seems like the German pair has an easier task of penetrating the defense when they direct the uh, attack at uh, Tan Kin Ming. on the Malaysians in this tie here because the German are playing a young team trying to develop players whereas Malaysia have stated that they feel that they can at least win a medal and maybe challenge for the title. So what would the 
this smash winner from Pan King Meng. Sense that Malaysia are just pretty much in control here now. 17 13 in the second game. Good service. Some good work by the big man, big Malaysian here. Oh, there was uh, plenty of honest endeavour from the Germans in this second game, but looks like it's running out of steam right here. Yeah, the Malaysians, they've responded well. They've yeah. played a great second uh, part of the game here. Harnessed well together, these two. Tan King Meng and Lei Pai Jing. And it totally overcover, overcovers the uh, backhand side there. Both players standing in the left field. And these two winners of the Malaysia Masters earlier this year. Another Grand Prix gold event for the Malaysians, and they now have seven match points take the game 21 13 and they wrap up proceedings here in the opening match of this tie against Germany and the more it, longer it went on the stronger they looked yes Malaysia coming through strongly a good uh, exhibition of mixed doubles from Tan Kim Meng and Lai Pei Jing. 21 17, 21 13 against the Germans. Mark Lansfoss and Isabel Hirkin. That's an encouraging start for Malaysia. Confirmation of the score 21 17, 21 13 to Malaysia.
Well, this is one of the most idyllic parts of Australia. We're at the Gold Coast on the eastern seaboard in the state of Queensland. We're almost 50 kilometers of pristine beaches. And the white sands go on and on and on. The Gold Coast, which also has the surfer's paradise at its heart. Surfers come from far and wide to come here. And we've come here to the Gold Coast Sports and Leisure Centre, a brand new facility. And we've seen the mixed doubles match going to the Malaysian pairing of Tan Kiang Meng and Lai Pei Jing. And now we await the world number one, Li Chong Wei, against Fabian Roth, just 21 years of age from Germany, with a men's singles ranking of 38. Always a privilege when you see this man walking into an arena. Li Chong Wei, 34 years of age, just never seems to grow old. In wonderful shape. And the taller German behind him, the young German, 21 years of age. He won gold at the 2013 European Junior Championships in the boys singles. He's also a two-time winner on the BWF Challenge Series. I wouldn't have thought Lee Chong Wei would have had a sleepless night last night. No, I don't think he would, but... Um, Hi. Depends how Fabian, long flat he's uh, or red. planning to play on, because red. I uh, have high hopes for this um, German player here, Fabian Roth. I You'll stay this side. Uh, Service. European Mixed Team Championship, the European equivalent to this tournament that is a World Mixed Team Championship. And in that uh, semi-final match, he beat uh, Victor Axelsen of Denmark and showed some uh, passing uh, despite. Lee Chong Wei, 34 years of age, he is the world number one. He comes from Penang, Malaysia three-time Olympic silver medalist, Beijing, London and Rio. He is the world number one for 199 consecutive weeks from August 2008 to June 2012. The most successful Malaysian Olympian in their history. He also has 66 career titles along the way and two Commonwealth gold medals. Now his opponent, 21 years of age, Fabian Roth. He's a tall man with a ranking of 38. He won gold at the 2013 European Junior Championships in the boys' singles. And he has got two wins on the BWF Challenge Series. So there's a whole gulf between these two in terms of their playing careers. Paul Buffon. Oh. England is the umpire. To take care of events from the high chair, the umpire's chair, and in the service judge's chair is Richard Bramley from New Zealand. Lee Chong Wei. Well, the one thing he wants on his CV more than anything else is an Olympic gold. Yeah, that's that's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult unless uh, he buys a medal or something like that uh, from from one, one that's already won it. Uh, it's going to be 37 in uh, Tokyo. There's no doubt that he could play on and, and have uh, another go at it. I just think he's going to have Difficult task of actually uh, winning up in uh, men's singles badminton. The three silver Olympic medals on his CB. He's got uh, Commonwealth gold from Melbourne in 26 and Delhi in 2010. And he was the BWF Player of the Year 2009, 10, 11, 13, and in 2016. That's what Fabian Roth is up against. Yeah, that's a tough task. In, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Germany, represented by Fabian Roth.
Chai Wei normally very clinical when and he on my left, Malaysia, plays a position from outside in the top 8-10 on the world ranking. Malaysia to serve. Love all. Play. This year, oh. Li Chong Wei lost the Malaysia Open to Lin Dan, his great rival from China. But he also won the All England Open for the fourth time when he beat China's Xi Yu Qi. Yeah, and he actually lost one more time after the Malaysia Open to Lin Dan. He lost to him in the semi final of the Asian Championships. So um, one, four. Two straight games, so. Um, Seems like Snake has swung back in favor of Lin Dan after a period where Chong Wei had a few uh, victories over his uh, arch rival. That's a great rivalry, isn't it? It's one of the great rivalries in, in sports, and that's some of the stuff that um, it's doing a good job of promoting backwards, and everybody's. Looking forward to, is there a chance that Li Chung Wei and Lin Dan will play each other when uh, they both okay. enter into a tournament? And we could, of course, also have an encounter here in, um, in Gold Coast if Malaysia and China were to play each other. 388 kilometers an hour, that winning smash. Just Thank the you. lovely deft touches at the net, just beautiful little lifts and then the the winning smash. It is just an absolute joy to watch. They've never played each other before. Fabian Roth and uh, Li Chong Wei, and um, I think Roth might be in for a tough time if he elects to attack too much. We've seen when uh, Chong Wei plays uh, Lin Dan that and plays a much, much more patient game. He's so good, Lee Chung Wei, in uh, counter-attacking. Fantastic defense, fantastic speed, so he retrieves his opponent's first try at attack, and then he's immediately ready to counter-attack. And uh, doesn't seem like uh, Rod has the speed to uh, to challenge that at the moment. Perhaps a little bit nervous here in the start of the game, meeting uh, one of the players that he would have been uh, watching in television when he was younger, playing the great finals. Now he's here meeting him. Absolutely, 13 years younger than the world number one. He's having a really tough time. 7-1. Seven, one. Seven. It's just taken barely a couple of minutes to get here, 7 1. Well done, Fabian Ross. Yes. Oh, beautiful to watch this. It's like an exhibition Service from Li Chong Wei. And that's no discredit to Fabian Roth. It's just the sublime Look at this. skills. Fantastic touch. And it's so difficult in the defense to control it, but he's just mastering that discipline. Li Chong Wei able to get it back with so much accuracy.
Fabian. Just a call from the umpire, <laughs> just to remind him to get back on court. 9 2. Wide. Ten, oh. two. Tried a big deception there, John Wei. Didn't, didn't fall for it, but uh, made a mistake anyway. Just wide, going for the kill. And this is one of the things that, in my opinion, um, is a little bit of a dilemma for Li Chung Wei that when he plays these matches, he, he actually is very entertaining to watch because he tries some uh, deceptions and we'll see him dive and, and, and try out um, special shots. Service over. 11. So uh, at the interval in this first game, just seven minutes of play, Lee Chong Wei leads Fabian Roth 11 points to three. Yeah, that dilemma I talked about is that it's very fun for us to watch, but in the long run, I don't think it's beneficial for Chong Wei to, to get these shots into his game. He doesn't need them when he plays the other top guys from China, Chen Long and Dan Dan. And that's Mark Zwebler there, the 33-year-old, who himself has a men's singles ranking of 20, seven-time German national champion, who won a gold medal at the 2012 German, uh, uh, rather European Championships. Prol prolific record, Germany's best of all time, Mark Zwebler. And he's uh, giving some advice, some encouragement in the face of this 11, three. great world number one, Li Chong Wei Play. on the list. So, 11 3. short in this match I don't think he as of now has the uh, movement and the defense to uh, really challenge Chung Wei got a good smash but um, it's not enough there's so many players that has a good smash in the top of world badminton he's got to be able to be more patient in his game from uh, the world number one. Five, twelve. Mm. Service over. <laughs> Thirteen, five. Quite long, but I like the idea of uh, flicking. Can wait. <laughs> what a touch. That didn't pass yeah. over the net, but um, I think you're right, Steen. He's just in his head, he knows, but there's no way he's going to even come close to losing this. So he's just maybe just trying a little a couple of little moves here, a couple of shots he might not otherwise deploy against his higher ranked players. 
Yeah, and the problem is that these shots, they occur when, when he plays, especially Lin Dan and, and Chen Long, and, and there's no room for them in, in those matches. But he can, he can get away with it against every other player in the world. Beautiful smash. Amazing that he's been capable of maintaining his speed or perhaps not totally at the same speed, but still so much um, faster than uh, most of his uh, competitors. Uh, well placed. Well, oh, he's hanging in there, the uh, young German, 21 years of age, Fabian Roos. So difficult when he would have seen 15, him play, of course, eight. he would have watched Lee Chong Wei over the years on television. He would have but to actually be on the court and then experience and know what to do in this scenario, and it's a steep learning curve. He's not a, a regular Super Series player either, so he this, the pace would be high for him, I suspect. Just it's up like a cobra, Lee Chong Wei, yes. and it's so spitefully fast. It's one and it follows it up with another. Beautiful movement. So crisp. And body leaning forward, body weight yeah. leaning forward into the shot. And that's what Roth has to adjust to shots that are normally really good shots against the other opponents. They, they're at no, totally no-go shots here against Lee Chong Wei because he will punish you. That's a good winner for the German. 9-16. He's uh, already got a gold medal, Fabian Roth, the 2013 European Junior Championships. That was in the boys' singles. He's only 21 years of age, with a men's singles ranking of 38. And what he's got to do when you... In any sport, when you, when you meet someone who's the very pinnacle, the very top... You've got, if you've got the right mind, if you've got the right attitude, he knows he's probably going to come off a long way second best here, but he's not disgracing himself whatsoever. He's got to take everything that's coming his way and, and make it a learning experience. No doubt he would have had a lot of you about Mark Zwiebler talking to him last night and maybe this morning in the bus on the way here. So you've got to do this, got to do that. But it, at the critical moment, you've got to play your game as well. It's your mindset. Yeah, the, the problem is that he, he can't really afford to play what he uh, feels is his game here. He's got to be more focused on neutralizing Li Chung Wei. So as we spoke about yesterday, um, not so much thinking about how can I win points, but how can I avoid losing points quickly? That's well played, though. Two great smashes from the Seven. young German. And we can see that he has some of the attacking Ten, weapons 18. to to uh, to challenge uh, the Eight. world's top players. Eight. Just needs more experience, more practice yet. Lee Chong Wei. Lee Chong Wei. Lee. Umpire is trying to talk to Lee. Lee. Yeah, he's not at all looking at the umpire. Okay. <laughs> he's not allowed okay. to flick away Sweat. Play. Acknowledged by the uh, Malaysian. Okay, I won't do that again. 10 18 as Roth serves. Fault. 11 18. Well, it might have seemed completely one-way traffic at the very start of this match, but gradually, it's more of an assuredness from the young German. 
Bolt. Mm, Bolt for being over the net. Service over. Service on board. 19 11. Have a look here now. Yes. Uh, Just? What do you reckon? Uh, it, it's marginal. It's very, very difficult, so I don't mind the umpire's decision because he doesn't have that luxury that we have. And even if we see it in slow, we have a tough time calling it. Correct. So a whole clutch of uh, game points here, nine of them for Lee Chong Wei. It's in. He's gone to that Lee Chong Wei's backhand side with the smash consistently in this opening game, and consistently he's won points. Tough on the legs, tough stretch that from uh, Fabian Roth, but Lee Chong Wei takes the first game. After just 16 minutes, Li Chong Wei 21 12. What's he going to say to the world number one? <laughs> yeah. Things, you know, what's he going to say? I, I actually have no idea because. He doesn't really have to say anything, in my opinion. Teixeira Bok and uh... I just felt that the longer the, this first game went, yes, you're going to get sublime winners from Lee Chong Wei. But it was interesting to see how the German came back. I mean, his body position from Lee Chong Wei when he makes these winners is just fabulous. You'd expect nothing else from. The world's number one, but shots like that will give the German a lot of confidence. We can see that he's, he's sporting a very playful style here, Li Chung Wei, and that would be one of the things as a coach that you would say, hey, tighten up, yeah. uh, practice for games to come. But I mean, he, he's 34 years old, Chung Wei, he's heard that a number of times, I suspect. So. And I, I don't blame him because it, it must be really, really tough to make the preparations, to have the motivation to play. He's beaten players like Fabian Roth so many times and he's going to win this match. So the only thing I could think of saying if I would say so, but was, hey, let's maintain the appropriate level of concentration. Um, don't fall too, uh, too low in, in concentration because then he will score some points and so on. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Well, 21 12, the first Second game score. Level. Play. So, what are we going to see now for this second game? sort of helped Li Chung Wei to win all these Super Series titles throughout his career. Um, Could smash this. Yeah. One of the things that, that's sort of um, it's a trademark is that he's so much better than even number six and seven on the world ranking. Let alone somebody who's 38. But a couple of early uh, points here from the German in this second game like this, he's making Li Chong Wei work harder, perhaps, than the Malaysian would want. Soldiers on uh, each own way because I mean, 
if we play some kind of game and you beat me easily all the time, how long do you want to play with me? But for Chung Wei, he still finds joy in uh, playing badminton. Well, I think that's so critical, isn't it, that you still enjoy yeah. getting something from the game, from the sport. Look at Roger Federer, he's 35, he's got no real reason to carry on playing, but he says, I still enjoy playing exactly. tennis. Exactly. I love playing. And that's perhaps why we see these deceptions and a little bit um, uh, creative shots once in a while from uh, Lee Chung Wei, because he needs that to still enjoy playing badminton. I mean, he, he has got nothing to win in this match. He is expected to win. Every Malaysian has already uh, put in uh, a win in, in the score box. It's Malaysia 2, Germany nothing. And if he loses, I mean, uh, I don't think it's ever happened in a, in a team uh, competition where, where he's lost a match like this. It would be against China or Indonesia when they had um, Taufik Hidayat. So there's nothing to win. He can only lose. I think it's important, you're making a good point, that he has everything by way of a good workout, the structure of it. So yes, over. you're right, he's, he's going to play some shots in, in, in this particular contest that he perhaps won't be playing against Lin Depp. But in a way, you can see how his mind can can do that. He said, well, I, I've got some license to do this yeah. in this contest. Yeah. But if he wants to beat yeah. Lin Dan and Chen Long, when it matters the most, not in, in uh, Super Series tournaments, not in team competitions, but at World Championships, at Asian Games, at Olympic Games. He's got to uh, to get rid of these um, mysterious shots. There's no room for it when he's playing those two players because they are the ones who has the arsenal to challenge and, and beat Lee Chung Wei at the moment. Oh, he slipped. This. Oh, oh, he's got the winner. He was down on the backhand side and then down on the other side and he got up uh, and made the winner it's okay look here he's down recovers Ooh. down and somehow backpedaling smashes to make the winner yeah. that's wonderful he wasn't expecting it to go back his way no. slips yeah and, and it's, it's um it's a nasty slip that one it's not something that stops him from playing on, but his, um, his um, Achilles would have gotten a... Uh, Bit of a tug. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and you only sense that when, when, when your feet and uh, your leg gets cold, so hopefully uh, nothing bad happening here. There was this incident in the Malaysian training camp a couple of months ago where he slipped on some of the new courts and... Uh, sparked a little bit of a controversy between the head of sports Morton Frost and, and Lee Chung Wei. Chung Wei was not at all satisfied with uh, what was going on. And that has led to him having his own little training group led by uh, head coach Hendraman and Tate Buck and uh, three or four of the other Malaysian men singles players. They are planning and executing the practice of uh, Lee Chung Wei and the other singles players. That's the smash winner that we've seen from the tall Five, German. Six. So I reckon that's earned him at least seven or eight points. Yeah. This one here coming up, that one there, to the Lee Chung Wei backhand. It's found Chong Wei just floundering. Well, it's six all in this second game, and Chong Wei is not having it all his own way. Maybe having a bit more of a workout than he anticipated. Service over. Seven, six. Having said that, he's playing well within himself. Yeah, he, he's in total control. Barring any injuries, he just tries to get by as easy as possible. Service over. Seven all.
seven points all. The first game took just 16 minutes for Lee Chong Wei to win in 21-12 after 16 minutes. Service over. Eight, seven. Left hand up there to uh, his opponent. Sorry for this, but uh, it all counts. Oh, it's just wide. Good defence from the German. Seven. What a great idea to uh, hit it cross. Because I think Jung Wei would uh, be covering the straight one there. Service over. Eight, nine. Challenging. Correction. Fabian Roth challenges. Call out. So on this back line, Shuttlecock was uh, judged to be out. Yeah, I'm, I'm looked at. I agree it? with the linesman. Uh, certain it's out. Oh. Sure. Challenge unsuccessful. Service over. One challenge remaining. Service over. 10 8. So 10 8. Play. Lee Tong Wei ahead. <laughs> 11 8. Interval. The interval then, it is Lee Tong Wei in control after 10 minutes of the second game. 11 points to 8. the very top, the very pinnacle, it's their economy of movement and the way that Lee Tong Wei moves is an absolute joy to watch. That's even before he's played a shot, it's just his footwork. Of course, had that been in, he would have been totally stranded. But um, good quality in the shots, and that's the way to do it. I don't think he can maintain that high quality rate, but um, good exercise, and that's called in. Chung Wei didn't go for it. Thought it was going to go long. I would flick him one more time if I would jump. Good defense. He's been a little bit unlucky on that sideline because that's going to wide as well. Challenges. Challenge here. Called out. I have a feeling that he's going to be out of challenges after this one. Oh, 
Tony. Yes, well done. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Service over. 13-10. Play. Just 14 with flash. Racket speed, racket head speed from Lee Chong Wei. 14 10 now. Great smash there, steep smash. Not a whole lot of arm movement. It does all the job. No. 17 10. A little bit of cat and mouse, it's all tiredness that builds up in the legs, lactic acid that builds up. But very quickly, there's a seven point gap between them now and this second game. It's just wild. 18-10. Well, at the end of this contest, of this match, Fabian Roth will be able to say that I've played the world number one. And he'll ask himself, what did he gain from it? At the same time, so will Li Chong Wei. 19-10. Yeah, Chong Wei, he doesn't gain anything from this match, except from being in the arena for 33 minutes now, maybe 40 minutes, or 35 minutes altogether. Service um, over. And, and that's, like I said earlier, 11, the only 19. thing Tisha Bok should tell Li Chung Wei is, hey, please raise the level of um, concentration and finish this so we can get in next door and practice on beating Chen Long and Lin Dang. Service over. 20 so match point 20, 11. 11. It's match point. Nine match points here for Lee Chong Wei, the world number one from Malaysia. Yeah, it's been well. Well, it was uh, delightful to watch. And uh, a nice gesture there from Lee Chong Wei, not just to the fans, but also to the young German who taps his racket because he knows that he's just had uh, well, what many people would say would be a lifetime experience. He's, he's, from Malaysia. he's, he's had a free lesson here today, but this is the uh, end of it. He certainly didn't disgrace himself, Fabian Roth. He's 21 years of age. And he showed enough on court in a little over half an hour that uh, we'll see a lot more of him, this young German, and, and I like that. 13 years between them and uh, 37 places in the world rankings. 21-12, 21-11 in 34 minutes.
kickoff of the Soderman Cup for 2017 is here on the Gold Coast of Australia, surfers paradise where the gastronomic delights are plentiful, so many places to dine, so many places to see. The hinterland, which is the green before the gold. So much to enjoy in this lovely part of the world, the Gold Coast, Australia. Malaysia then have won the first two matches, the uh, mixed doubles we started with, and uh, we've just seen 34 minutes of the world number one, Lee Chong Wei, dispose of the young German Fabian Roth. Next to come is the men's doubles featuring the Olympic silver medalists from Rio de Janeiro, Tan Wei Kiong with Go V Shem. They are playing Jones, Ralphie Jensen, and Josh Zerwan. The, uh, the return of the Rio de Janeiro games of the 31st Olympiad last August with Anhui Kyong, 28 years of age, and Go V Shem. The V is for victory. Changed his name from Che to V. He likes the word V for victory. Let's go on court. You want to call? Red or black? Uh, red. Red? Black it is. Your choice. Sure. You serve? Okay. Huh? Yeah. You. Okay. Thank you. Well, the uh, Malaysian pair is the uh, Tenwi Kiong and Govi Shem. The uh, men's doubles world ranking is four. They were the number one in the world. Tenwi Kiong from Johor, Malaysia, just across the water from Singapore. Tenwi Kiong. His partner, Govi. Shem, B for victory. 28 years of age, from Kuala Lumpur. Commonwealth uh, Games gold in uh, 2014. In Glasgow, silver at the 2016 Olympics. They lost to China's Zhang Nan and Fu Haifang, but they had beaten them in the group stage in Rio. Yeah, and held two match points. So they were as close as you can get. Mm. Jones Ralphie Janssen was born in Jakarta, 24 years of age, German father, Indonesian mother. And uh, with his partner here, Joshua Zervona, who's 28 years of age, they won the 2016 BWF Grand Prix Brazil Open. And they lost that to the German pair of Fuchs and Holzer. Ah, you can pronounce that <laughs> from Norway. Uh, Michael Fuyedel. Thank you. Dahl. How do you say? Friedel. Fuyedal. No. Fuyedal. Okay, and I'll go for Mai Lang Yin from Vietnam in the service chair. How do you see this, Stin? Well, it's a <laughs> it's a ranking mismatch and. Uh, like the other, well, most of the other matches in, in this tie here, the Malaysians are heavy favourites. Um, Ready to play. They, are, on the other hand, will be looking to build some kind of uh, self-confidence because they have uh, slowed down a little bit here the last couple of months after winning silver at the Olympics, doing well in a number of the Super Series tournaments. And if Malaysia is to uh, challenge for the title here, they desperately need this men's double to perform well. 
I don't see there's anything unusual though that they've had a little uh, slow period here after the Olympics. It must have been fantastic for them to win a silver medal. Malaysia got three silver medals at the Olympics, so we had a really, really good result at the Olympics. This creates more fuss around you as a person and player. Exhibitions, sponsors. Big target. Of course, Ladies and gentlemen, in, uh, on my right, Glasgow. Malaysia, represented with Go Wisham and Tan Wee Kyung. As we mentioned earlier, these two guys looking to make a name for themselves. Germany, the retirement of their senior players. And Joshua Malaysia to serve. Tan Wee Kyung, Joshua Alfie Janssen, love all. Play. Absolute rip back in. So far, it's Tron. Pan. Good judgment as well. Well, that was actually called in. Was it? Uh, yeah. over. One. It was like it stopped oh. because uh, I also thought from the trajectory that it would go wide, but um, stopped just in the nick of time. Wait. Strange footwork there from uh, Silvana. Service over. Two. One. Don't do this at home. He's a trained professional. Service over. Two. All. was Germany wasn't at all supposed to play in the group one here in, um, in Gold Coast they were promoted only Service after over. England chose Three, to withdraw two. to withdraw following cut in oh. fundings from uh, Sport UK over. and then Three, Germany was promoted from group two That was the Germans take the point. have been in 11 finals and they've got seven titles four times runner-up of course they are the uh, silver medalists Six, from Rio you said five. they had two match points they had two match points yeah. against Fu Haifeng and um, Jiang Nan who eventually went on to win it that would have hurt it, 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 
certain it hurt, but still it was a really, really good result for them. And in terms of uh, evaluation, you should actually evaluate as if you'd won, because if you help, Seven, five. Uh, if you hold two match points and, and end up losing, I mean, luck has a really, really big influence there. It's just really, really hard to evaluate the same way when the other guys on the other side they have a gold medal and you go home with the silver there's there's a big difference sure but, but Eight, play and the game five. they totally match their opponents you could say it was more or less a coin flip Start from uh, Savona and uh, Jansen. It's very motivated, German pair. Need a chance to play here at the highest level. First game. Go with the whole Seven, succession of smashes eight. from the back. And a great defense by the German pairing. Janssen, who was uh, born in Jakarta, much playing under the German flag, German father. Enterprising start for the Germans. Yeah. Service oh. over. Not regular super series Nine, players, as uh, mentioned, Germans, so relations really know what to expect and they've started really well good attacking style not afraid to work for it service over nine four three 28 year olds on court and the youngest is the 24 year old Janssen ten we can it's turn 28 this Sunday service over not a lot of celebration. He said in the Malaysian camp it was uh, business as usual, just another day. They are so focused on doing well in this uh, Sudirman Cup that uh, they don't allow distract, uh, distractions. Service over. Ten. All. interval it is the Malaysians who have a slender one-point lead 11 10 after eight minutes
Well, there's very little in this. The uh, German Give pairing up. here of Ten. Jones, Play. Ralph Janssen and Josh Zawana doing very well against the much fancied Malaysian pairing of Go V Shim. Eleven all. Tan Wi Kyung, their world rank four. They were the world's number one. It's eleven all. Pretty good uh, contest so far. You would have expected the Malaysians to come out firing and pulling away, but they haven't been able to. Oh! No, but, but their style is a little bit uh, counter-attacking and flat game and so on. And, and playing this German pair here, it could easily be uh, uh, sort of uh, a little bit off in their timing because shots are not what they expect this is a sort of a, a suicide missions towards the net but he's successful this time Josh Savona 13 all and uh, like the uh, previous match with Lee Chung Wei I think it's a matter of uh, raising the concentration level with the Malaysian side oh that's a pity he missed that one Janssen at the net, he anticipated what was 14, coming. 13. We have often seen the Malaysians play matches where they are one, two points behind, but when it's crunch time, when it's 18 all, 19 all, they have a, an ability to come out the 15, winners of these games. 13. Smash from Govishan. Great height that cheat. Go. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's good. Service over. I'm beginning to wonder that um, bandage 14, that uh, Ten Week Young 15. has on his knee. How much that is um, like protecting him. Brace, isn't it? It's a big supporting bandage. That. It's more than a bandage, that's a piece of apparatus. He's, uh, he's the person that we expect to 16, move 14. towards the front court and try to dominate the net. But while we've been talking, they've Taking a two point lead. Oh. Oh. Service over fifteen sixteen. Point you felt at this stage of this opening game. Service over. 18-15. of points for the Malaysian pairing. 18-15 now with Tan serving. Defense. Oh, 
all of a sudden the Malaysians in uh, total control of this game. Pretty much as we expected, actually. The, um, 19, 15. Tweaked the shots a little bit, a little bit better defense, a little bit more concentrated. Game point, 15. Game point. Come on. Out. Service over. 16, 20. Malaysian pairing as anticipated taking the first game 21 16 in a minute under a quarter hour Twenty-one sixteen, the first game score after fourteen minutes. Second game. Come on. Love all. Play. Oh, come on. Come on. Service over. One love. Oh, we have this. Lamp from yesterday suddenly igniting. Challenge. Janssen challenges called in. It's a lamp over the pole that. Uh, switched on and yesterday the players felt it was very very disturbing not think any of the four players and he has noticed it yet <laughs> that's perfect placement challenge unsuccessful right corner. one challenge remaining service over one all Two, one. Three, one. Oh. 
Service oh. over. Two, three. Defense there by Tan. Tan Wee Kyung. Service over. Four, two. Great handwork from the 28 year old Malaysian. Serving now. In. Five, two. Service situation now. Ten week young and uh, go we shim. Germans. Yeah. Service over. Seven four. Come on. Out. Oh. Service over. Five. Seven. Okay, come. Quite a high service, in my opinion, here from Jones. Ralph Danson, I can't believe it's not called. Oh. Service over. Eight. Five. Service over. Six, eight. Gets great height, but he takes off. It's a really good height, but uh, this time just bringing the shuttle down into the middle of the net. That's wide from Jensen. That's one of the things they have to look out for the Germans. That Nine, they know that they have to six. play the best they can, but they have to be aware not to be sort of overcommitted uh, or trying to play 105 percent. Ten, six. Right now, it looks like a uh, busy day at the office for the Malaysians. Pretty much in cruise, cruise control. The interval, nine minutes gone, it's 11 7 to Malaysia. Oh. <laughs> 
Aufschlag weiterhin, dass hier noch so zwei Dreier wieder mit rein geht, dass sie ein bisschen umgreifen. Sie sind viel variabler, als wenn sie umgreifen. Ja, ansonsten bleibt konsequent dabei. Ja. Also die sind jetzt auch so auf der Rückhand-Ecke ein bisschen aggressiver drauf. Deswegen weiter den einfachen Einstieg und vorn ran und dann im Verlauf ab und zu mal auf die Vorhand überlegen. Wenn es so relativ schnell wird in der Weiter konsequent drauf. Ja, glaubt da noch nicht. Vorne brauchen wir fast nicht weg. And everything he said, uh, Ingo Kinderfader. There was something about the service situation and the importance Play. of being higher on the uh, services to have Service over. many possibilities of returning. Did a good Eight. job of that here. Eleven. Johnson. Yes, plenty of advice from the coaches for uh, Germany. Read that one, Tommy Young, but he was not able to uh, Nine, to control it. Pushed it long. Oh, this hit. Ten, eleven. Just doctor ordered for the German pair here. Three quick points to get it close. I think there was also some of the stuff that uh, Ingo Kinderfasser was talking about. The third shot when they were serving themselves, the Germans. It's important to reach it as high as possible. Oi, that's a bit too steep. That was hit on the floor on his own side, and he broke the string. That's probably why he missed it that big. Just 12 11, just the one point in it. Service over. 12, 11. Straight down the middle. 13, 11. Bisecting the, uh, the two Germans. Play. Moments hesitation between them as well. Good point, good winner. A bit too casual in the defense there by uh, Bill Wisham and good work by the Germans. 12, 13. Quite oh, a bit of flick serves here, and it seems like we're nowhere near a call. Sometimes we see the umpire, the service judges, uh, call almost all attempts of flick serves, but here they are. Allowed, maybe because they're legal. Nicely done by Go. 14, 13. Level at 14 all in this Service second game. 
14 all. Very nice little uh, angle on that shot from uh, Jansen. Chanwick Young wasn't expecting that. He was he had to come forward there. German pairing, just sticking with the uh, much fancied Malaysians who are number four in the world rankings for men's doubles. 15 points each in this second game. Yeah, so it's first to six points from here with two point marking to win this second game. If the Malaysians win it, the Germans are eliminated from the World X Team Championship. Good service return by uh, Joshua Sabana. Service over. 16, 15. Just on the right shoulder of uh, Gilby Shem. Germans just edge ahead. 17-15. And uh, are we going to have a game that levels this match here now? 17-15. Jansen with the serve. Couldn't defend it. Jansen. Service over. Goes shadowed. Oh. The shot again. This is where they, they might get a little bit eager to see if they can steal this second game, the Germans, and, and perhaps get a little bit tense. And I think they should still just focus on playing good badminton. That has brought them here. If they think too much in points, I think it will affect their game. Space on that forehand side coming up here. Service over 18 17. A couple of flat footed Malaysians just watching it. 18 17, a point ahead. Can Germany just take this to a third game decider? And he's really fired up. Jones, Ralph, Jansen here. 17. Lovely to see. Extremely quick turn to uh, celebrate there. Hall. It was. There's the service hall court. Struck of the waist. On uh, service over. Sivana, I think it's been more. 18, uh, 19. Apparent on Jensen that he's. Um, Almost serving where this white hat bird is on his shirt. Well, there will be some nerves there on the German side of the net. Yeah. 19 points each. I won't be surprised if the Malaysians take this 21 19. Brilliant work. 
Tremendous defense from Tan. Tan Wee Kiong taking a barrage of heavy hits here. And they've turned this around from where it looked like the Germans might be leveling this particular match, but now it is a match point for the Malaysians. take the men's doubles got a bit tight towards the end of that second game but it looked like Germany might steal it to take it into a third game to decide but the class of the Malaysians they're the world number four men's doubles pairing silver medalist at Rio de Janeiro last year and uh, they come through in a tight second game to win it 21-19 uh, good contest that some enterprising play by Germany. In the end, some tremendous high-class work by <laughs> the Malaysians. So, Tan Wee Kiong and Go Bi Shem, the two 28-year-olds, in uh, 34 minutes dispose of Janssen and Zawana, 21-16, 21-19. Surfers paradise right at the heart of the Gold Coast where the waves keep coming in in beautiful conditions. The sun shines. And there's plenty to do here on the Gold Coast. On the coast of the state of Queensland. There's not many better places in Australia to visit.
So Germany have won this tie. I beg your pardon, Malaysia have won this tie over the Germans, courtesy of that men's doubles win. We've seen wins in the mixed doubles, the men's singles, the men's doubles. Now we have the women's singles featuring the 17-year-old Go Winjie Jinwei against Fabienne Deprez. Fabienne de Prez is 25 years of age. And for the Malaysian team, we're going to see the precocious talent of the 17-year-old Go Jin Wei. She won the Kuala Lumpur Open at 15 years of age, the youngest ever to do so. She then won the Belgian International at 15 when she beat Scotland's Kirsty Gilmore. Kirsty Gilmore won a silver medal at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in 2014. So that was an extraordinary win for Go Jin Wei. Just two years ago in Lima, Peru, she was a world junior champion. Have a good match. Have a good one. All right, ladies, I have Fabian on one side, Go on the other side. Go, you're going to choose. That's red, that's black. She wants red, so I'm going to flip this. Red it is. Which side? This side. She wants this side. You serve, service. Fabian is going to be on serve. All right, ladies, two minutes to warm up. This is Go Jinwei, 17 years of age, world junior champion. There's uh, championships played in Lima, Peru. She beat Malaysia's Li Ying Ying in the final. The first Malaysian to win the girls' singles event at the World Junior Championships. 17 years of age, with a ranking of 30. From Penang in Malaysia. Lovely Penang. That's a beautiful part of Malaysia. Been there, Steen? No, uh, never Penang then I highly recommend that you put it on your bucket list. It's a wonderful scenery there, good to watch. This is the left-handed Fabienne de Prez. Fabienne is uh, 25 years of age and has a women's singles ranking of 49. So 30 against 49. years of age so many records created as a 15 year old and even before that so from uh, Canada our umpire is Eric de Roche and England's Paul Buffum has taken the service judges chair quite a height difference the uh, left-handed German quite a bit taller than Go Jin Wei. So winning the Kuala Lumpur Open at 15 and the youngest ever to do that. And then winning the Belgian International in the next tournament at 15. As I say, beating Kirsty Gilmore of Scotland, who was the Commonwealth Games silver medalist from Glasgow in 2014. And winning matches like that so young and so early in your career you you know you've got a long time ahead in the game and those of you watching in Penang Malaysia will be very proud of watching this young lady just 17 and uh, Malaysia doing very well here today at the Gold Coast Sports Center sports complex They've already won the tie against Germany, but now we've got this match here, the women's singles, with the women's doubles to follow. Have you seen her play, Steve? Yes, I have. Um, plays very well. Um, good, solid playing style, and of course, um, she's been suffering some injuries that has set her back a little bit, but it's really good to see her without um, any strappings on her legs. Germany represented. I can't see anything. Fabian Perhaps she's got some uh, 
sports tape on her ankles, but um, if the relay to says to do well, then uh, Go Jin Wei could play an important role. She's not, um, I think, the favorites against um, most of the contending nations here, but um, sometimes that's a really, really nice role to be the underdog and to be able to create upsets in favor of your own country. Silver, one low. I was not able to repeat her world championship, her junior world championship win in Two 2016, low. lost to uh, Japanese girl Natsuki Ole. And also lost to Chen Yufei, China, in the uh, team competition. Chen Yufei was also included in the Chinese roster for this uh, Suryaman Cup. Oh, miss hit there. Four low. Quite a big difference between. Um, In women's singles and um, European women's singles if you exclude Five, the reigning Olympic and world champion Carolina Marina of Spain very few other Europeans can um, compete at the highest level one of them as you mentioned Kirsty Gilmore but she's also been out with injury she's just returned to tournament play here a couple of months ago Yes, she's uh, playing on the court. One, five. One of the four courts here today, Kirsty Gilmore of Scotland. That's called in. Two, five. Of course, Germany with a strong recent tradition for, for women's singles. Um, Petra Oberseer and um, Xu Hui Wen won World Championship medals. Juliana Schenk, the most recent one who, to win a medal, and uh, Service over. they've had trouble Six, replacing two. Juliana Schenk, who uh, yeah. Quite unexpectedly, uh, some quarrel with the association retired from uh, badminton. Yeah. It's up to Fabien oh. Dupres and Louise Haim, Yvonne Lee to. Yeah. Good point. So, Germany. Georgian Wei. Seven, two. <laughs> With deception, we could see the legs of the uh, end. The press was trying to move towards the straight smash before she realized. Go it was challenge. Cross. Call out. Early challenge then comes from Malaysia's Go Jin Wei. Shuttle was called out, and she thinks got a good chance of being in and she's just a little misjudged this is the point successful. and the challenge one challenge remaining service over three seven play four seven Five, seven. Oh, 
strange. Hey. What was she thinking of it? No, why don't want... Why did she trip a little bit? The press. Anyway, 8-5. Short with the backhand here, Thank go Jin Wei. That's a turn here. What a talent. Jim Wei leading 9 6. Six at the interval in favor of the Malaysian. It's interesting that um, she states, Go Jin Wei, that the uh, most influential uh, person in Korea so far. That has been the Thai player Rachana Gintanan, whom we saw yesterday. That must have been his inspiration. Watching Rachana Gintanan winning the World Championship in 2013. Perhaps also at a junior level earlier on. Inspiring Go Jin Wei to want to achieve the same. In 11 6. Of course, both have won the junior Play. World Championships. Let Fabienne is uh, eight years older than her opponents, and she's only 25 herself. Which, in my book, constitutes a young over. person. Well, <laughs> seven. Too strong, not for the first time. Service over. Yeah, I think. Eight. Yeah, you can see the press. No, that was not that one. I think she plays a little bit short. A German player. And of course, then you have to adjust or attack. Service over. 14, eight. Oh, she'd like to have that again. Serve that again, straight out from Fabien. Oh, that's a good point. What a well-constructed point. First of all, there was some terrific defending. 
here recovers. 15 8. Yes. Down. Plenty of power with the smash winner. Bundle of dynamite, isn't she? And it's going to be interesting to see her in uh, the upcoming matches tomorrow. We have a very exciting match Malaysia against Japan. Both teams, of course, certain of making the knockout stage as uh, Germany is eliminated now, being 16 0 3 down. But important to uh, play for seedings in the knockout stage. We'll see Go Jin Wei play either Natsumi Okuhara or Akane Yamaguchi, and that will give us a, a better read on where Nine. she stands right now in terms 16. of um, the world elite. She played Yamaguchi in the Asian Championships recently, and lost in two close games. Service over. 17-9. Jogin Wei's movement around the court is impressive. It's maybe a little shorter in stature, but she really gets covers ground well. It's out. Yeah, she's not the tallest of athletes and um 18-9. I'm, I'm looking forward to see the matches match tomorrow um, against either Okuhara or Yamaguchi, who's apparent, uh, approximately the same height as uh, Gojin Wei. Let's see how she fares against those two players, both highly 19, skilled technicians, both Okuhara and uh, Yamaguchi. Yes, now oh, she's toying with the German Fabienne de Prez, just bringing it to the net. Just toying with her here, she's got her to the, at the net and she's got a wide open space to force home the winner. So, game point for Go Jin Wei from Malaysia. Oh, well done. Service over. 10.20. Listed as 159 high, 1 meter and 59 centimeters. I'm not totally sure what that is in, in feet. Five something. Game. Game. Well, she's, she has made first short work of Asia. this first game. Ten. Just 13 minutes. Go Jin Wei takes it. 21 <laughs> She moves around the court. And the way that she's been moving her German opponent as well. There's no shortage of power there either from Go Jun Wei, just 17 years of age and very mature young lady in badminton terms. Court one, 20 seconds. Court Play one, players are ready. Seconds. Out on court. And the 
still to come is the women's doubles match. Second game. Love all. Play. But uh, business here to complete. Women's singles. Over one low. Well, not for the first time. Fabian and the players have footwork maybe not quite in tune with uh, what's required. No, I, I agree. That's, it's so important that you can. Uh, move with the right speed around court service over That's one of the differences we Two, see between one. european women's singles in general and asian women's singles um, there's simply uh, a big big difference in the ability to move around court yeah. speak about this big difference i don't include colin Morin because she's probably one yeah. of the players who moves Fastest Three, of all, at least one. in the uh, offense. Exception again. The players no idea of where to go. Over. Two. A winner. Offered by the pledge, the German. I've got a little Four. bit of uh, oh. cheering from the uh, Malaysian spectators here. They've become a little bit more quiet now that they've secured the uh, victory in the overall tie, but they were singing. Singing and dancing, right? Ahead <laughs> of um, the match. Five. and that's the uh, way to compensate if you over. are not Five. as fast oh. around the court as your opponent you have to make quality shots and in my opinion she made five quality shots in a row here oh a lot of hard work in that point by the young Malaysian it's a hard defensive work. Yes. You can see the, the amount of work and amount of energy that goes through the all the 
muscle groups in the legs and Six, the back. Five. What's the most common injury in a badminton player? Oh, that's probably a twisted ankle. Ankle. Yeah. There's so much... Um, so much um, strain on the, on the ankles when you move, stop and start. Breaks from a lot of power and stops with a lot of power again. At Lee Chong Lee was out for a while, was new with uh, quite a while with Six. ankle oh. a couple uh, of years ago. Is it ankle? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. He's had some trouble with his knee uh, following this slip on, on the mats. So I believe the longest period he was out was when he was uh, suspended for, for a PhD uh, violation. PhD, PED, performance enhancing drugs. Now the uh, 25 year old German here, Fabienne de Pret, just about holding her own in this second game. 21 10 the first, six all here, second game. Good point, very good point won by the German. And she's over. With, uh, quite good shot Seven, quality at the moment. Six. Oh, there we had a replay from a match from yesterday with Dean Kersfeld and Phoebe Sindhu. There's no business here. See that that last clear from uh, Fabien Dupre was a little bit too passive, and immediately Go Jin Wei took over the control Seven. of the rally. Oh. Straight on Eight. her own side Seven. there. And she's having to work pretty hard, but it's a little tantalizing little lifts from Gu yes. Jin Wei at the net. I suppose really because of her stature, it helps when she plays these little touches at the net. When you show me the shadow, don't squeeze it. Okay, just show it to me. <laughs> That's eight, seven. Oh, eight seven second game. Wide. Nine seven. So we said that Germany was a team in uh, under development, under rebuilding, and we can see some possibilities in the game of Fabienne de Press here if she can Eight, raise the pace of uh, her game move a little bit quicker and at the same time uh, increase the shot quality a little bit then she has the attacking shots the angles to score points nine oh. It's really, really short. That, Ten, uh, nine. Lift from Gojin Wei. Let. So at the interval, it is Malaysia's 17-year-old Go Jin Wei who leads 11-9, second game. Oh. 
Könnte es dann im zweiten und dritten, dann machst du voll Slice. Ja. Da hat sich immer Probleme, wenn du den Top machst. Wenn du immer voll Tempo gibst und richtig drauf auf den Punkt gehst, dann machst du das aus. Sie werden alles hoch ab. Ja, die buddelt sich halt ein. Ja. Dann. dann sagst du, dann hast du drauf, komm, spiel nochmal hoch und dann machst du einen Stein. Du hast deine Rückbahnseite auf der kurzen. Ich bin nur mehr jetzt gerade. Ja, das ist so. from uh, Manfred Ernst. Something about when she has the smash opportunity, then a good yeah, follow-up would be a full slice. That's number two point. and three shot. A specific point in the backhand side would be good to cross. So if the press so plays over. cross from a short backhand Ten. we saw here, there's a tendency that Gojin away plays back into Fabienne de Prez's forehand side and leaves or opens up for angles like this. Good shot by Go here. Service over. 12, 10. It there from uh, 13, the left handed 10. German Fabian de Pres. It's two quick points. 14, Three quick 10. points actually since she uh, made that flick serve to Go Jin Wei at 10 um, 11. You just can't afford making these kind of, uh, consecutive errors within the first four or five shots. That's that's two easy points for your opponent. And if you are not able to get rid of them, then you won't be competitive at uh, this level. It's in. 16, 10. Very quickly, Go Jin Wei has opened up a six point lead here now. 16 10. She's quite far away from these shots with a little deception on Fabienne Dupré. is a young lady with a great future ahead of her, Go Jin Wei, already a world junior champion. Two years ago from Lima in Peru, took, took gold in the 19, world junior 11. championships. And she, meet, uh, and she beat her fellow countrywoman from Malaysia's Li Ying Ying in the final. Over. 
Oh, bit of content there for the shuttle and for the serve. And very quickly, Bo Jin Wei has 20. match point. Match point. Well, and she's got a whole bunch of the eight, eight of them. Go. Let called there by the umpire. It's out. Oh, no, it's called in. Service over. No, it's in. 13-20. Very good rally yes. from the German point of view. And yet another change of shuttle here. This time it was always the Malaysian on the receiving end. So still it's a match point against the German. That's it. Takes the second game, wins the match. Takes the second game, 21-13. And 17 years of age. Go Jin Wei against Germany's 25-year-old Fabian de Pret. Had uh, moments where the contest was quite even, but a precocious talent of the young Malaysian accounting for the spirited challenge of the German. So that's a fourth match going in favour of Malaysia. Pretty warm out there. But uh, in 31 minutes, Go Jinwei of Malaysia beats Fabian de Pretz 21-10, 21-30. Well, wherever you go on the Gold Coast, Australia, there's always plenty to do. Concerts to visit, Tai Chi on the beach, gastronomic delights, wonderful wines, something to entertain you wherever you go here in this beautiful part of Australia, in the state of Queensland.
put it on your bucket list. Make it a point to visit the Gold Coast. For love, that's the tally of match wins in this tie for Malaysia against Germany. And we're going to finish with the women's doubles now. For Malaysia, Vivian Hu and Won Kei Wei, the left-hander, Ke Wei against Johanna Golizewski and Isabel Hertrich. Second time we have seen uh, Isabel Hertrich. She opened up playing the uh, mixed doubles with Mark Lamsfus. And lady on the right there. But uh, it's the Malaysian pairing who have a world ranking of 13 against the Germans whose world ranking is 43. Yes. And we side, I side. Thank you. Okay. All very cordial. Mai Lang Yen from Vietnam in the uh, umpire's chair, and uh, we'll have Richard Bramley from New Zealand, the service judge. It should be a win for Malaysia. This, in terms of their world ranking, there's 30 places between the two teams. So let's have a look at the uh, Malaysian. This is Wung Ke Wei, 28 years of age. Highest she's been is nine in uh, the world. That was in November 2015. Has a Commonwealth Games gold medal, which she won in Glasgow in 2014. That was with her playing partner right here. Wung Ke Wei, 27 years of age, from Kuala Lumpur. That Commonwealth Games gold medal in Glasgow, very much in the, their trophy cabinet. So the Malaysians look in prime form for this, with the women's doubles ranking at 13. And Germany have it all to do. This women's doubles match. Well, we've seen this young lady, Isabel Hertrich, earlier today, 25 years of age, women's doubles ranking of 35 has been higher than that. Ready to play. And her partner is Johanna Golazewski. 31 years of age, born in Poland. Qualified to play the Rio Olympics last year with Carla Nelter. And has been with the German national team since 2003. Mei Lang Yen from Vietnam. And the chair, service chair is Richard Brown in New Zealand. How do you see this one, Steen? Um, yeah. Probably um, the closest match in the tie, but that's that's easy to say now that we know all the other matches have ended in straight games with uh, reasonably convincing uh, victories for, for Malaysia. Um, Wei and uh, Vivian Hu was also playing in 2013. Lost the deciding match against Germany against Johanna Kolishevsky and uh, Birgit Michels, who is now Ready? retired, so it's a different combination they're up against, and Lady there's a whole different gentlemen. pressure they're facing. On my right, uh, not Malaysia. too much pressure from Presented by the time. Vivian Hu from and Won Selected again. And on my left, 
Germany, represented by Johanna Kulichowski and Isabel Hartrick. Malaysia to serve, Wun Kewei to Isabel Hartrick. Love play. Point from the left hand of one low Bunke Way. Yeah, perhaps I should elaborate a little bit on the uh, prediction here. I actually don't think the Germans are going to be close here. Um, I think Bunke Way and, and Vivian who they've been low. played well this season, um, haven't always. Uh, resulted in good results and, and getting the matches won, so that's the challenge. But, but I think compared to um, uh, the German players' uh, skill level here, I think the Malaysians are clearly superior. I think they're going to win this match in, in straight games. And when I said they were facing a little bit of a challenge, it's because I feel that Malaysia has uh, two really good women's doubles. Chia EC and uh, Chomei Quan also played some uh, very good uh, matches and just played some good performances this year. So, um, in my opinion, it's interesting to see how the selection is tomorrow when Malaysia faces Japan, the Olympic champions in women's doubles. Is it the same pair? Or will they give um, the lower ranked pair a chance to play that match? Hard work point for Germany. Two, three. Golazewski here, the 30 year old. Vivian Hu. Service of three, four. 27 years of age, Vivian Hu, and Woon Kerwei is 28. Youngest on court, yeah. Isabel Hertrich, at 25. Yeah. Oh, nice direction of uh, that backhand shot there from Hertrich. Clear roles Four. for the players on uh, each side. Hatrish, who we saw in the mixed doubles, of course, um, looking to dominate the front court, whereas Johanna Goryshevsky is uh, the preferred backcourt player. With the Malaysian side, it's Wong Ki Wei, who normally seeks the front court and uh, tries to intercept at the net while we see Vivian Hu working relentlessly at the backcourt. Germans. Service of six, five. Yeah, not 
Not a lot of chance there for Oon Kerwey. Petrich finds the net. Service on. Six on. Some might wonder why we're playing on when the overall tie has been decided, and of course, that's only here in the group stage where we do that. In case teams should have the same number of victories, then it's the same number of victories and ties, then it's calculated by difference in matches won. And if that's also the same games won, it's not a possibility in this group here. Germany has lost both matches. Some song. Eight, seven. As we reach the knockout stage, the matches or uh, the team ties, they uh, stop when one of the teams have won them. Tie. Group standings to uh, think Nine, about them. Seven. Two point lead here now for uh, Hu and Un. Malaysians. Three point lead. Ten seven. Ten seven. for the Malaysian pairing and at the interval seven minutes play in this first game it's 11-7 Malaysia Forced errors on the other side. 12 7. And this could be the first um, tie in um, Group 1, the championship group, the group where the teams have the um, possibility of winning the World Championship. Could be the first tie this year that. Um, and five nothing. We haven't had a white wash yet. Plenty of power there from Vivian Wu. And the second bite of the cherry, 305 Ks an hour, that smash. Nice action. Ooh. Centimeters wide. Service of 8 14. Oh. 
cross action by uh, Nasbel Hedrich. Just a little flick with the racket hit there. That's the trick. And there's a challenge. challenge but I, yeah. I feel that uh, the How's linesman, the they got it right. Not necessarily plumb on the line, but um, I didn't see anything green in between the line and the shuttle. Ah. I should have opened my eyes a little bit more. <laughs> Got some eye drops in the bag there, Steve. I thought I had a quite good record calling those uh, challenges. That's gone now. Yes, one. Well done, Isabel Hedrich. 11 14. Turn of serve from uh, Malaysia. Putting Germany under pressure here. It's from within Wu. Pressure on the Germans there, moving closer and closer to the net. All the time bettering their position. It's quite an interesting uh, study to watch her movement, Wung Kerwei. She doesn't clear, she doesn't really get off the court surface. She, you see so many of these players, they jump high to meet the, ball, the, meet the shuttle, to smash it. vision of the net. Twenty. Game point. Game point. Very quickly. Yeah, it fell apart a little bit from the German side. Chini Hui, who we've seen coaching the mixed doubles and the men's doubles.
First game. Oh, well done. Well played from uh, Joanna Kulzewski. It's very important that they get some points in the bag early in this second game, or they might just become feel a little demoralized. was there yeah that was um that within who uh, shouted as if it was out before the shuttle had landed then that scene as a, a, an attempt to influence the linesman that's wide from uh, isabel hairdly not good challenges one. in the Malaysian attack than uh, in the German attack. Much easier for Ubun and uh, Vivian to score the points. Good smash from Vivian Hu. Looking at the gold medalists Five. here from the 2014 Five. Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, the Malaysians. This arena here in uh, Gold Coast is going to be Commonwealth Games Arena next year. Yes, it is. Six, one. There's no doubt that it's a wonderful venue. It's brand new. Gold Coast with some great facilities. Seven. One. Seven one. Yeah, good playing conditions in here. There's not a whole lot of uh, drift. Um, I'm not sure if there's any aircon on. If any, then it's at a very low level. Yeah. Shot. Good point. Joanna Kolesevsky. Service on. Two. Seven. Yeah. No, that's why. That, 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 that's a mistake you can't make because I mean, Seven there's no chance it's a winner. Eight, two. If it's inside, it's easy for Malaysians to to return it. And away points that way they look disheartened Patrick and uh, Kolishevsky like they don't believe it themselves Oh, 
Vivian Wu played a very good point there. First of all, terrific defence. She was the catalyst for so many good things happening throughout that point, that sequence. and Hedrich. And five, that's how ten. they need to invest in the rallies to, to score points. It's going to be tough this one if they are to challenge the Malaysians. They're going to be really, really tired afterwards. Uh, a little bit of momentum it was quickly stopped and at the interval it is uh, 11 points to five after nine minutes to malaysia and now we have the malaysian spectators going again of this second game with Malaysia leading 11-5. Yeah. Playing at a different level, uh, the Malaysians much, much better than uh, the German pair. Germans have uh, Six. faced retirement of many of their senior players, many of their stars. Yeah, good offensive work from Vivian Hu. Power and placement. Playing a wonderful match, Vivian Hu. She's uh, brought her A game here. 15, six. It's a very high-class display. This by the Malaysian pairing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
They've got all the answers. The smiles on one side of the net. 16. Six. 16 points to six. Side of the net because they just, yeah, they that's just, how it feels. It does, doesn't it? That's how it feels. And so much for my prediction that it was going to be one of the closest matches in the tie. It's been the most lopsided so far. Zewski. Service of 18. Setting it up. Eight. This one here. Very quickly, there's a nine point lead at 18 9. Highly impressive this by Vivian Hu, the right-hander, and by Woon Ke Wei, the left-hander for Malaysia. They have totally, a, totally dominant. Have, haven't they? World ranking of 13 in women's doubles against the number 43 ranked pair from Germany. Try to go cross court with that. Uh, Service all. That shot. Nine, with the net. Nine, just catching the net. And ready. So they let it's wide. Well, this has been a, a very one sided contest. The Malaysians have shown a very impressive yeah, I'm a little game here. I'm a little disappointed with the uh, German performance in this match. I think they've and well in all other four matches even though they've lost they've given everything they had here it's been that's been a little bit disappointing in my opinion. that's also due to the malaysians who sort of stamped their mark on the match quickly from the interval in the first game and the rest of the way they've been totally dominant In is it? Hot trick, Chalet in. I had the same feeling as you are, and uh, I saw that wide as well. It 
that's why. Correction out. Bad man, Eleven twenty. Play. Still match point. the end of the agony for Germany in this women's doubles. A highly competent performance from the Malaysian pairing of Vivian Hu here. The right-hander and the left-handed Wung Ke Wei. And uh, with a certain degree of ease. This is the last point. Germany didn't really step up to the plate, and that's you have to say that's because of the high quality on the other side of the net from Malaysia. So Malaysia complete a clean sweep. All five matches in the tie won by the Malaysians. Score in this women's doubles: 21-12, 21-11 in 31 minutes. Five love, the Malaysian team has beaten Germany in this 1C group. It started with the mixed doubles, 21-17, 21-13, a win for Tan, Kian Meng and Lai J, Beijing rather. Then Li Chongwei, the world number one, against Fabian Ross, the 21-year-old German, coming through fairly unscathed. We had the men's doubles, the Silver medalists at the Rio Games, Go and Tan coming through, Jensen Zavane, Go Jim Wei, the 17 year old coming through against Fabienne de Pred, 21 10, 21 13, and then finally the women's doubles, very one sided this one, Vivian Hu and Woon Ke Wei coming through in just 31 minutes. So a clean sweep for the Malaysian team and uh, we look forward to your company later tonight, but uh, for the moment from the uh, Gold Coast Sports uh, Complex, it's goodbye. <laughs>